Welcome to the Sistersen channel. Our topic for today is hypnic headache. The headache that wakes you up in the middle of the night. My name is Abuzar Habibinia. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sport Edition. Subscribe to the Sistersen channel on YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a regular basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness and sport edition. Okay, today we are going to discuss about one of the primary headaches. It is called hypnic headache, the headache that wakes you up in the middle of the night. We have published a video in the past and we discussed there about primary headaches and secondary headaches. And also we listed for you 17 types of primary headaches. Out of those 17 primary headaches, we have discussed migraine and exercise induced headache in the past and today we are going to talk about hypnic headache. Let's see what hypnic headache is and what are the solutions for it. Okay, what is hypnic headache and when does it happen? It is a kind of headache that is gonna happen a few hours after you fall asleep. Basically people, they go to sleep without having any kind of headache. Few hours later, they're gonna wake up because of the headache. In terms of duration, hypnic headache can last anywhere between 15 minutes to 90 minutes. Sometimes the pain may last up to three hours after you wake up. Frequency, hypnic headache can repeat up to three times in one night for seven to 10 nights in a month. Severity, the pain is moderate, generalized, and also bilateral, sometimes could be one-sided and also the pain could be throbbing and pounding, which is gonna mimic migraine. In terms of gender and age, most of those people who suffer from a uh, hypnic headache, they are women. So females are more prone to hypnic headache than males. And usually their age is about 50 years old and higher, but it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, we don't see hypnic headache at younger age. Definitely this is possible that we can see in medicine, uh, you know, uh, people at younger age with hypnic headache. But most of those people who suffer from hypnic headache, they have usually, you know, age 50, 60 years old around this age. And in hypnic headache, usually we don't see nausea, photophobia and phonophobia. You see, you know, feeling that you're gonna throw up and increase sensitivity to light, increase, you know, sensitivity to sound and noise. These are the classic symptoms of migraine and usually we don't see them in hypnic headache. And there is a other name for a uh, hypnic headache. It is called alarm clock headache because this type of headache is gonna wake up the person pretty much every night almost at the same time that's why it is also called alarm clock headache hypnic headache has a very unique feature surprisingly daytime naps can aggravate the pain mechanism the exact mechanism by which hypnic headache happens we don't know yet in medicine, it is exactly unclear why this type of headache happens. However, a major contributing factor is this. Poorly controlled high blood pressure. If someone has been diagnosed with a hypertension and his or her blood pressure has not been controlled very well, the person may wake up in the middle of night uh, because of the headache. This is why experts and specialists, they suggest that if you wake up in the middle of a night, it's better that you monitor your blood pressure for a day or two. Differential diagnosis. There are other medical conditions that can mimic hypnic headache, and I have listed them for you. Migraine, cluster headache, thunderclap headache. Thunderclap headache is one of those uh, 17 primary headaches. Definitely, I'm gonna talk about it later. Is sleep apnea. You heard it right. Those people, they have sleep apnea, they may wake up in the middle of night, you know, because of the headache. Increased intracranial pressure. If the pressure inside the skull has gone up for any reasons, those people, they may complain of headache, you know, which is gonna wake them up. 
and nocturnal drop of blood sugar. If there are people that their blood sugar levels drop during their sleep, they may wake up in the middle of night because of the headache. And the last one is bruxism induced headache. Bruxism is a medical term. Bruxism means excessive teeth grinding. There are people that, you know, they, they grind their teeth during their sleep. Those people, they may wake up in the middle of night because of the headache. Now you know the description and features of hypnic headache. Let's see how we are going to fix it. Here are the solutions for hypnic headache. Number one, there is no specific diet for hypnic headache, like migraine. We have migraine diet and we have discussed that in the past. Unfortunately, there is no specific diet at all for hypnic headache. Number two, coffee. It is interesting that for some people with hypnic headache, the only thing they're going to need to fix their headache is coffee. If you have one to two cups of coffee at bedtime, or if you take caffeine pills anywhere between 60 to 200 milligrams at bedtime, this is going to help with hypnic headache in 30 to 35 percent of cases. Basically, one third of those patients with hypnic headache, the only thing they're going to need is coffee or caffeine pill at bedtime. However, at the CSSN, we have developed a combo that works much better than coffee and caffeine. That combo is this, caffeine, melatonin, and 5-HTP. 5-HTP stands for 5-hydroxytryptophan. And hopefully you can find these three products everywhere. In this combo, a caffeine you're gonna need 100 milligrams, melatonin 10 milligrams, 5-HTP 100 milligrams. It's gonna be easy to remember, 110, 100. And this combo works much better than coffee and caffeine. And if your hypnic headache did not respond, to coffee, caffeine, or CSSN combo, then you're gonna need medications for sure. Here are the top four medications that are prescribed for hypnic headache in medicine. Lithium, this is the best medication ever. You're gonna need 200 to 600 milligrams at bedtime. However, there are people that cannot tolerate lithium. For those people, Definitely, they're gonna need some other medications. Verapamil, 160 milligrams at bedtime. Indometacin, 25 to 75 milligrams at bedtime. Indometacin is a powerful painkiller from ibuprofen family. And the last medication is called flonorizin. You're gonna need five milligrams at bedtime. Flonorizin is a medication. Uh, that in medicine usually is prescribed for preventing migraine. But there are lots of reports that this medication can be useful in people with hypnic headache as well. Our final words, do not ever self-diagnose yourself and let your qualified practitioner do that for you. I really hope that you learned something interesting today because we make science easy to understand, now you know. If you don't want to miss the video that we post on a regular basis on CSSN channel on YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel to support us. You can share, like, or comment on this video. Until next time, stay safe, stay connected.